Well, hello. Um, welcome to my next installment on my kit car series here. Um, as you can see, uh, you're looking at the rear passenger side of the of the car. Um, where I live in eastern Canada, the uh, the regulation of these vehicles, uh, I guess uh, component vehicles, they like to refer to them, um, to make them legal for use on public roads. The car needs to meet several uh, safety standards. Um, unfortunate because they're not extensive, but there's a few that uh, there's a couple things I have to do. Um, some of them logical, some of them um, actually they're all fairly logical. But this particular um, video is going to cover one one issue that I have to take care of. In my province, they require that the the uh, fuel tank here has some supplemental protection okay and the idea is that if if I if this car was to be struck at this corner by another vehicle they want some protection uh, not only on this side but on the on the driver's side uh, some side protection for the uh, for the tank and uh, what the engineer who who oversees this process this safety review process told me is that what he wants uh, me to bear in mind is that ideally if this vehicle is struck by another vehicle, he'd like to see this vehicle push sideways as opposed to crumple in and collapse that fuel tank and leak fuel on the ground and have the potential for a fire. Now, if, you've, if you know anything about these vehicles, the driver's side is worse. Uh, the fuel tank actually protrudes from the, from the side of the car uh, oh, three or four inches. So what I did was I took a piece, uh, here's, here it is here, what you see here is a uh, simple two inch uh, square stock, steel stock. Uh, it's an eighth of an inch thick. Uh, just welded up um, two four inch lengths uh, crossed by a 12 inch length on some uh, simple uh, 16th of an inch plate. All welded up. Um, and what this, this will do is this will sit right in here and get bolted to this back frame. So it'll protect the filler and have uh, essentially six inches of, uh, of space between this and the plumb line to the side of the tank. So I'll paint this, I'll drill holes and bolt it to the side as opposed to welding it to this. Reason being is, um, if you know these cars, uh, the rear end of the car actually flares out to meet the tire. So it, uh, from the side of the tire back, it tapers in to, uh, to that sort of rounded oval cam back. There's enough space here by my measurement uh, two inches in from the end of this frame is seven inches of clearance out so seven inches out. I made this here six inches out so I should be just clear just fine of uh, uh, of the uh, of the body. If not if I find it's a little tight I can grind this this end this corner just a touch I can even uh, cut this and re-weld it in here and move this whole thing forward. But I think I'm going to be fine. By my measurement, uh, from what I recall, I should be just fine or just tight there and be just okay. On the other side, the same deal goes. There's um, essentially, there's uh, on the other side, there's the same sort of measurement, same sort of clearances. And uh, I have another one of these gizmos welded up and uh, I'll bolt that one to the other side and that should take care of that problem. Now in some other jurisdictions that require a rear bumper and this really throws a lot of guys for a loop because a rear bumper on the outside of this car would look very much out of place. So the solution that a lot of guys have found is actually weld a bar inside inside the rear frame here just a four inch by two inch uh, stock the width of the back and uh, and that usually does the trick there too so so um, that's a solution it's actually you do it down low uh, and you would have the whole perimeter covered off so if you're considering one of these and you're in a jurisdiction that requires bumpers that's a solution however you might want to talk with the uh, regulatory bodies there's I'm sure some sort of inspector in your area that will have to take a look at that and uh, clear that with them first anyway onward and upward and hope to see you in the next video take care